So you went through my DVD collection and you found Blade Runner. You Blade Runner. Yeah, so... Yeah, so... Obviously, this is a popular film. One of the best sci-fi is ever made. Oh, oh, the best. The best ever made. Yes, actually, um, I have this movie in my collection as well. Yes, it's... And um, I like all three versions. Um, the first version, I like the uh, commentary. A lot of people complain about the commentary, yeah, but I, I, I like it, yeah. and it's interesting. It adds another level to it, but I just cannot stand that happy ending where no. they're... The fucking ending fucking sucks, exactly. seriously. But the auto... Um, Up to that point, yeah. it's, it's brilliant. Yes. And then the, uh, when he did it without the commentary, I like that one too, and the good thing about that is it didn't have that polished ending. In fact, it made you feel that maybe um, Harrison Ford's character, maybe he is a replicant as well. See, see, I hate that shit, though. I find that a bit silly and illogical, actually, that he's a replicant and all that. Uh, so, so I hate that shit. Okay. And, and I, heard that, I heard that Harrison Ford also hates it. So. Oh, okay. But the third version is my favorite. Yeah. And uh, I really like that. It's the final cut, is it called? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think it's, it's a, a great job. And uh, what's so impressive about this film is that y you look at it and th there was no uh, computer effects. These were all done uh, with uh, sets. And uh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's well shot. It's well acted. The story is relatively simple, but it's effective because the characters are interesting. I think um, uh, Rutger Hauer at the end of the film elevated the film by that speech on top of the roof. Him saving uh, Harrison Ford's life. Is it? I have heard things I didn't believe. Uh, ships in outer space on some shoulders of a man. I watched ocean beams glitter in, in the light. All those feelings will be found in time. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's my favorite science fiction film. I'm not normally into science fiction films, but this one uh, has always moved me. And it, it's one of those films that you actually appreciate more uh, yeah. the more you watch it. The yeah. first time I saw it at the theater, I, I wasn't sure what to make out of it. Then the second, yeah. and then when I watched it the second time, I go, "There's something special about this film." And then I watched it again and again, and I I keep picking up on more information, subtleties, and things like that. So I, I really love the film. I think it's a great science fiction film. Awesome. I agree with all that. Um, the only issues I have is how it's edited. I don't know. There's like something about it that uh, I find it doesn't have um, urgency, although. I love the atmosphere. I, I love everything else. I mean, it's amazing. And Rodger Hauer is, is fucking awesome. It's Sean Young. The most beautiful you'll ever see Sean Young. The, one of the most beautiful actresses in that film. She looks stunning. Yeah, I agree. Do a thumbs up. It's like this, right? You go yeah. uh, oh. Ah, oh, Blade Runner. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we have the sequel that was shot a year later. Um, it's a sequel, sort of. Um, uh, I find it's amazing. It's not as awesome as Blade Runner One. 
although uh, there's like a lot of elements I like about it. It's slightly over long. I found this movie when I first tried to watch it. Uh, I was just watching it on a smaller screen, and I was waiting for some kind of connection to the film, whereas the first one grabbed me from the very opening scene. This one is, this film is not like that, but you have to give it time. Because after it goes through, I think about uh, 45 minutes, you start to see the story arise. And actually, the story is very good. And, and if I could say that's one strength over the originals, there's more story development yeah. here. So uh, I, I enjoyed this film. I think it's a very good film, too. And uh, unique how it, um, even with the visual effects, with the digital information, the digital special effects, it, it's was very captivating and interesting characters and uh, I think it was well told. I think it's a great sequel. Uh, obviously it's very hard if you're a sequel, um, you're, you're a Blade Runner sequel, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really hard. Uh, you're going uphill, yeah, it's an uphill battle. So um, I find it's, it's a great yin of the yang. So as a whole, I find it's, it's really great. Um, it helps, it actually adds on on the first one i like it slightly more than you um yes yeah. I, agree, I agree with you yeah i I, lo I like the film a lot i think you love the film yeah. so um i think it's a really good sequel i think they did something very unique i'm really happy with the storyline but it's really hard to top rucker howard's uh yeah. speech at the end it's so poetic yeah yeah, Beautiful. there's no Rodger Hauer. Yeah. Anyway, all right, man. Uh, thumbs, up. thumbs up, obviously. Yeah. Up. So, Blade Runners are a great fucking franchise. What? Again? Yeah. 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 Okay, and I'll go like this. I don't know if you want to. No, no, no. No? no it's, but I it's, it. Yeah. Yeah, you though. sure? Yeah. It's gonna, so it's going to yeah. suck you off a little? There we go. So it's not, but it's... Yeah, a little bit of excitement. A little bit of excitement. 